Yes, everybody, my name is Sammy and this is my story. Before I go any further, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, turn on your bell notification and never miss a thing. Yeah, so like I said, my name is Sammy and I'm in a band called Soulbox. So I think it's really interesting how the things that people can say about us affect the way that we feel, right? If somebody says something nice to you, you're gonna feel good about it, aren't you? But what happens when they say something negative is most likely not going to make you feel very good. And I mean, that's what happened to me as a young person. Um, I'm actually from Zimbabwe. I was born in Zimbabwe and moved over to the UK when I was eight years old. Moved to this um, town called Withenshaw in Manchester. And as I grew up, I started to realise that there was something significantly a little bit different about me. And I started to see that people would treat me a little bit differently because of this, because of the color of my skin. I mean, the society that we lived in didn't really have a lot of nice stuff to say about dark skinned black girls like me and it started to affect me. In fact, when I was in year eight, I fancied this boy. I know you guys are listening now. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. I fancied this boy. He was six foot, I know, high top fade. He looked like Will Smith. I was like, sis, shoot your shot. So I went for it, you know, I did what I had to do. I uh, took him for a little chat by the fire pit and I said, listen, I like you. Put your number in my phone. No, I didn't do that. I was, a, I, was, I was a bit smoother. Anyway, I said this to him and he looks at me and he says, I don't date dark skinned girls because they're ugly. And it literally felt like somebody had punched me in my gut and I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. But what I knew was that I hated myself. I hated the color of my skin. I hated the tone of my skin color and I hated my culture. I hated everything about it. And it got to the point where I actually wanted to bleach my skin and, and I went online and I was Googling how to do it. And I carried this way of thinking about myself for a very long time. But when I was 18, I became a Christian. And one of the things that God did for me was he sort of took me on this like journey, if you like, of, of loving myself because of what he has to say about me. And I started to read the Bible and in the Bible, it says that I'm creating God's image. Hang on a second, who is God? Okay, God is perfect. He's amazing, he's incredible. If I'm creating his image, that, that, that's the same for me. I'm amazing, I'm incredible. In, in Ephesians 2.10, this book in the Bible, it says we are Christ's masterpiece, created anew in, in Christ Jesus to fulfill the good things that God has planned for us. Hang on a second, God has a plan and a purpose for my life. And part of that plan, part of that purpose was me being Sammy, a dark skinned Zimbabwean black girl in Manchester, loving music, loving all these things. And God was gonna use that. And that's exactly what he's doing in my life today. I love myself. I love everything about how God has created me and I get to use that chatting to young people like yourselves um, nationally in school sometimes internationally and my message is the same you are amazing God has created you for a plan and for a purpose and you in this world knowing that and owning that is the best thing that you can do so that's a little bit about me that's my story and I really hope that it's going to help one of you guys today